the limits of artistic expression reach new heights when creatives take center stage. In the Seychelles, we meet an artist and musician inspired by traditional sounds and his island's vibrant colors. I've always been that child that wanted to be a musician or an artist. Art is like meditating and trying to set a goal and achieving it on the spot. When you're feeling the song, you get lost. It's like you're in another universe. Hi, my name is Isham, artist and singer from Seychelles, and this is my Africa. Twenty-year-old Isham is a Seychellois through and through. We're at the National Theatre and we're going to start rehearsal in a few minutes. I'm here with uh, my band, which includes my two brothers. He began his foray into music by writing in English. But a love for his country's traditional rhythms and sounds led him to explore singing and writing in his mother tongue, Creole. I mostly write in Creole. There's something about the Creole language that I fell in love with. The Creole music, it does run down to the generations of uh, slave. Our music is called mucha, because the, the rhythm is like chop, 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 just continuously. When I'm trying to write the song, I don't actually write it down because I find that it slows me down. Okay, now maybe I found maybe something for the verse. What I do is I sit with a guitar and put my recording on and I just play. Just can't explain. My music has sort of changed throughout the years. Now I'm doing music more about what I feel and soul. And that took a lot of time of experience and trial and errors. For Isham, music has always been a family affair, a shared passion that began at an early age. From my memory, I've always been in, in the choir. My mother was a conductor in the choir, and I had my sister, myself, and a lot of my friends. Introducing the star of tomorrow. Okay. Isis and Isham. My mom made sure that we took it with full heart and concentration. I'm grateful to my mom especially because she always just pushed me on stage and now I can see the result. Now we're heading to the Fisherman's School Gallery where I have some of my artworks and some of Seychelles' best artists. To discover more about his musical talent, Isham has turned to art as well. Often painting representations of his own experiences as a performer. This painting is my interpretation of uh, visualizing music. This is sort of like the process of getting lost I'm using warm and cool colors to show this as 
you are in cool colors, this is the normal state. And as it moves towards the warm colors is where you're getting lost. And as the song is ending, you're going back to reality. Art is teaching you that it's okay to fail and get back up. If you understand this and you just bring it through life. Talented with both pencil and paintbrush, many of his artworks are commissioned. Occupying much of his time, it ensures he's able to make a living. I sometimes get a hard time to balance art and, and music. When I get the chance to paint or draw, I'm focusing on the commercial side so they don't end up in the gallery. Uh, when I'm drawing alone, my mind is open to the situation that is going on on the paper. So it's mostly no distractions from the outside world. The fact that I don't understand my art side fully brings me closer towards the music side. Uji, Uji. Already he's featured in a music video for one of his most popular songs. In each of his creative pursuits, there's always a connection between both music and art. Despite the challenges that come from living on a tiny island nation, Ishan believes this is what he was born to do. I just see myself as this little kid wanting to be on stage. And it doesn't matter where you go after that, but if you can just show that you are here and you can make your voice be heard. Appearances on national television have brought attention to this ambitious young artist. With a unique story to tell, he hopes to one day share his talent far and wide. I just hope that if I have a message, my message could be heard at least throughout the Indian Ocean. <laughs> Yeah.